This is part 3 of the C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write Hello World in C Sharp with ASP.NET MVC. Also, we will cover these three topics like how to display data in output window, how to display data using viewback on browser, and how to display raw JSON data on browser okay so before proceeding with this video please make sure to watch my previous tutorial that is part 2 of this video series where we have created one of the project and the same project we will be using in this tutorial so let's get started so this is the project that we have created in previous tutorial and here is my home controller and index method and here I'm gonna write my hello world logic so before that I'm gonna give you some overview about the MVC so MVC stands for model view controller and if you notice that in our project we have all these three folders like M for model view for views and C for controllers so in the controller you will find this three controller and if you click on the home controller then this page will be opened and this is nothing but a CS file and where you can write your C sharp logic so in controller you are going to write your C sharp logic okay and if you notice that this uh, we have this index method and it is returning a view so view is nothing but your CS HTML page okay in the view folder if you extend it then you can find the controller wise folder for home controller we have the home folder and if you extend this you can find this three files which is CSHTML file so for index we have the index CSHTML for about we have the about CSHTML for contact we have contact.cshtml and all of these three methods going to return a view and if you want to go to this view just right click here and just click go to view so it will show you this page okay this HTML page okay now let's come to the model so model is nothing but your domain data that's gonna hold your data so inside the model folder you can create your employee class that's gonna hold your employee data okay so this was an overview of the MVC and if you want to learn MVC in detail then you can watch my ASP.NET MVC tutorial video series I will put that link into description box okay now let me first put a breakpoint here and let me start this project now you might be wondering that why this method is being called when you started this application okay let me explain you so just click on the continue button it will show you your index page here is your index view okay and if I remove the content and save it then you will see again the empty content except the layout page so this is coming the the header and footer part coming from the layout page and this is the shared view okay inside the shared you can see the layout and here you can find the navigation items okay so this is how happening everything and now let me explain you why this index method is being called when you start your application so if you extend your start app start folder and here you will find the route.config file where this method is being called from the global SX which is going to register your route and it, it's accepting your URL pattern in this way so you can provide your controller name slash action name slash ID and all of them are optional and the default value would be the controller the default controller will be home controller and action will be index if you change it to about then when you start your application then this about page will be loaded okay now let me change this about okay and let me run this now 
now this time your about page will be loaded so here you go and now just click on the home button so your home page will be loaded okay home index and notice that you have removed your index content now reload it now just remove this breakpoint from here and let me continue this okay now as I shown uh, the in the raw.config file see it's it is accepting the controller name slash action name so here you can see the home slash index and if you click on the about so it will be you know the default it is default but you can just call the same method using this about okay so the same page the about will be rendered and if you don't provide anything the default page would be your about page now let's fulfill our today's objective so first to stop this application and undo everything just make it to home and close it and save it and close it all right and just click on this collapse all button so that it can just collapse everything okay and here is your home controller and here in the index method I'm going to take a string message equal to hello world okay and make sure the good naming convention should be followed here and if you remember for writing this message on console window you you can write console dot write line message but this gonna not work in this MVC application instead of that you should write system dot diagnostics dot debug dot write line okay it's gonna print your message on output window okay first let me put a breakpoint here okay and also I would like to undo this okay now let me run this project and we will write this output on the output window okay okay something is gone like in app.start go to route oh sorry stop this and call the index method and now run this okay so this method will be called so function f10 and this is your message if you hover on this then in the message variable you can get the hello world message but if you if you click on F10 button then see this is nothing gonna happen after executing this code and uh, just click on this window and click on this reset window layer okay so this will just show you two windows like this this is the variable window where you can check out all of your messages or for your variable values okay and here you can click on the output and here if you go down and nothing is here and see console right line it's not working here and now function f10 
see now the hello world has been printed on the output window okay and if you click on the continue button then again your web page will be loaded and it will be same so to next objective would be to to use view back and print my message on the browser okay so let me stop this application and just remove this line and and keep it as it is and take a view back okay view back dot message equal to message okay so view back is a dynamic container and it's gonna accept anything like you can just assign a string integer or a list it can accept that okay now you can just copy this view back message and just go to your view just right click here and go to view okay and then remove everything from here and keep your jumbotron and delete okay and now paste your view back dot message as it is and keep one at the red sign symbol here okay now run this project so that your hello world will be printed on the browser okay now again click on the windows and then go to output and function f10 okay so if you see the hello world has been printed on the output window and this is the variable window and function f10 okay so view you have assigned this message to view back and then it's going to return your view and this html containing this view back dot message okay now click on continue button and this will print your view back that is view back message that is hello world okay so two topics we have covered and now instead of returning the view uh, through this method you can return a json result okay so first let me remove these methods this is not required here and uh, you can create your own method like public now that will be returning your json result and just uh, will display a student okay this is your method and this gonna return your json return json okay and the first parameter will be your data and the second would be your json request behavior dot allow get okay so first let me create a class here so public class and make this class outside of this this controller class public class student and provide some property that should be public string name get set okay just copy that name age and it should be int integer and this is string name age address okay and now create the object of this student okay student student equal to new student and you can assign value to this student student dot name should be equal to j 
John. student dot h dot sorry equal to twenty five and student dot address equal to address is string so new york okay and you can this is nothing but an object and you can just pass it into this JSON file control KD to format this method and here to call this method you can just call in this way the URL pattern would be your home slash display student okay let me run this project and let's check what is it is returning okay so the first page would be your index page okay let me remove the breakpoint from here and continue okay so this was your index index page and now just go down and you need to call this display student okay so that is the separate method so home controller slash display student okay so this gonna return a raw JSON file okay so the name is John H is 25 and address is New York okay so in this way you can display your data on the output window and remember that this is not a Windows project so this is not a Windows or console application so that it can just give you a pop-up so that you can print everything on that okay so instead of that we will be using uh, the output window or maybe this view web page to display our output in next video series okay so i hope you like this video and if you like it then give a thumbs up and have a great day